Only on Christ 17 TV, we back at you with another one, player. <sighs> Can you do anything in this world without getting shot? That's going to be the new question. Is there any place or anything you can do without getting shot? Without getting shot. Can you go to church without getting shot? Can you go to the beach without getting shot? How about Disneyland? How about a ball game? How about kids trying to earn some money to go to a Halloween party? So you buy waters to sell waters at the corner, at stoplights to cars. Nice little hustle that I've seen in New York. I've seen different places. And that's better than the kids out here robbing, stealing, selling drugs. They're just trying to sell some waters to make some money. On the train, they sell candy, all kind of shit, just to stay out of trouble and stay out of jail. But when is enough enough? When can you just let a young man get his little money... You're not going to make a lot of money. You're not going to get rich off waters, off selling waters. Check out this crazy shit. Memphis mother is trying to wrap her head around a senseless situation where her son was shot at a White Haven intersection. She tells us uh, what her son was doing moments before the shooting and what her emotions were like after seeing him in pain. Boy, got it raised, jumped back in the car and said, he finna die. And that's when he shot him twice. Takitha Thomas is trying to make sense of a senseless situation. Memphis police say her son, 15-year-old Jamarcus Truitt, was shot two weeks ago at the corner of Elvis Presley and Shelby Drive in Whitehaven. Thomas says her son and his friend were selling bottles of water to make money to go to a Halloween haunted house. MPD says the shooting happened just after 3.30 p.m. as Thomas was on her way to pick up the teens. His friend called me and raised and told me to hurry up and call that he had been shot. According to an incident report obtained by News Channel 3, it all started when someone in the car tried to rob the two teenagers. The boy pointed the gun towards him and he tried to make him go in his pocket and then he tried to make him take off his pants and I think my son, my son said he pushed him and told him don't touch him and the boy got enraged, jumped back in the car and said he finna die. And that's when he shot him twice. Thomas says Jamarcus was shot in the arm and in the hip. Jamarcus's friend managed to get him to a gas station and call for help. When I got there, he was on the floor and I, I just got him raised. I couldn't wait for the ambulance. So I just had them put him in the car and I took him to uh, Methodist. I was in shock. Like, I just, I just was ready to get him. I was in shock. I started screaming. Like, it was, it was a feeling that I wouldn't want no mother to go through. Jamarcus remains in good condition. He has undergone two surgeries and racked up thousands of dollars in medical bills. Memphis police say the suspect got away in a blue four-door vehicle with a white object covering the driver's side window. If you recognize this car or know who shot 15-year-old Jamarcus Truitt, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 528-CASH. Your tip could help put a dangerous criminal behind bars. Remember, all calls are confidential. Now, if you'd like to help with Jamarcus's medical expenses, his family has set up a GoFundMe account under his grandmother's name, Sandra Threadgill. If you have a story that you'd like for us to profile on Manhunt Monday, email us at manhuntmonday at wreg.com. Why would the news lady ask the mother what are her emotions after her 15-year-old boy just got shot? What, what the hell do you think her emotions are? What do you think they are? Scared, terrified. What do you think? It's no big deal. This shit happens to her son every day. So the two boys selling water. One tries to rob the other boy. But how much money can these boys have selling bottles of water? $50 tops? Selling the waters for like a dollar each. If $2. They're not out there selling hundreds of bottles of freaking water. I'm, I'm going to say that now. So the one boy points to, tries to rob the kid, so the other boy pushes him. Then he tells the kid, you're going to die, and shoots him twice. 
15-year-old kid shot for selling water because he didn't want to give up the little change his partner had in his pocket. They trying to go to a haunted house, Halloween, have a good time. And the motherfuckers are trying to rob them selling waters. What kind of real money can they have selling fucking waters? See, you can't do nothing nowadays. You can't do no kind of... Next thing you know, little kids going to be mowing lawns, raking up leaves. Motherfuckers going run to run up on them trying to rob them for their money for mowing a, a damn lawn. Can these kids do anything without violence happening? Without getting shot? I mean, he's actually selling water. He's not trying to do anything bad. He's not robbing, stealing, killing, drug dealing. He's selling water so they can afford to go to a haunted house. This is a shame. This is why all these kids are all fucked up. Because look at the shit that's going on around us. I mean, you can't even stand... On the corner with an ice chest filled with cold waters, selling it to the people who stop at, at the red light without somebody trying to rob you. <laughs> and then not just trying to rob you, then try to kill you because they couldn't rob you. Oh boy, I tell you, you can't do shit nowadays. You can't do a damn thing. And it's always just. People doing this to the wrong people at the wrong time all the time. Why? Why would you shoot a kid selling water who ain't got no real money at all? That's what I really want to know. I truly want to know. How much money you think you was really going to get from these two young kids, 15, 14, whatever the other kid's age was. The kid that got shot was 15. So what, what real money you think you finna get? This is crazy. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. And this is, it's got to stop, man. It's got to stop sooner or later. The youth, this is what happened to our youth. Even the ones trying to do good and not trying to do shit, they still get the short end of the stick. So now it might make this kid want to go get him a fucking gun now. And he might know what kind of car this kid is in and what he looks like now, and might want revenge. Or his older cousins, or son. See, it's, it's an ongoing cycle that's never going to break. You got a young kid trying to make an honest hustle just to go to a Halloween haunted house. Because those things cost a little bit of change. Not that much, but just to have enough to have some fun and maybe grab some food. But another punk ass... Dude want to try to rob these young dudes. I don't know if the kid who tried to rob him was young. But the thing is, come on. When is enough of fucking enough already? This shit is getting out of fucking hand. Can't even sell waters on the side of the road without getting smoked. And his friend is a good friend. Got him to the gas station. Got his mom there. And the mom was able to put this boy in the car and get him to the hospital before the boy bleeds out. Now the boy's gone through two surgeries just trying to get to a haunted house to sell selling some waters. If that's not a fucked up, like, I'm trying to do good. I'm not trying to go get a bundle, sell some dope to make money. I just want to sell some water so I don't get in trouble, but I can still make some money and still have some fun. And the little dude gets shot because he don't want to give up the little change his partner got because that's day money. One of them's probably selling, one of them's probably holding the money. They probably not both holding the separate money. They probably one's, one's selling the waters and one's holding the money. That's usually how the shit goes. And this kind of shit is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Imagine your kids go and say, hey, I want to go rake some leaves, mow a lawn. And kids are driving by and seeing this kid going from yard to yard, mowing lawns, making money, and then they come back and rob him and shoot him for him just trying to make some, make some honest money. Some honest fucking money, man. This shit is out of hand. And I don't know what to say, but I just feel bad for the kid, for the two kids. I feel bad for the mom. And the cold part is he didn't even get to go to the haunted house. Took two bullets... Now he has two surgeries and he has a medical bill 
through the roof. Yes, help that young man on the go. Go fund me and help that boy pay his bills because he... He's just trying to make an honest little dough so he can go have some fun with his partner. And a motherfucker try to rob them and shoot them. Man, like and subscribe. This shit is out of hand. Man, comment down below. And like I say, man, every time around this time, man, I'll catch you on the flip side, man. This shit is sad. This is some sad ass shit. I always got to tell you guys and report on shit like this is sad as hell.